So again, God, this looks like crap over this dress. So I thought I'd do today's video about a subject that is sort of been floating around in my head and it's something that we can all relate to, right? And um, I say that because I feel like we all have it in our wardrobe and we just don't realize it. This video is really just about, you'll probably think, what the hell is she talking about? I'm talking about the magic in your closet. I'm talking about the things that you own currently, right now, that have a transformative effect on your outfit. It is the one item that you own, or items, that when you put it on, it just makes your outfit go from that to that instantly. There was a shop that I used to um, go to on the Lower East Side, East Village actually, Trisha Field used to shop at for um, dressing Sarah Jessica Parker to play the character of Carrie. And when I went to the store, I could see, you could see why, because of the type of dresses, they were very carry. Anyway, that shop was gone. But they had a belt there, and did I buy it? I think I did. And uh, I, used to, I, I called it the magic belt, because she used to try on, I used to go in there and play dress up, and she would put on different dresses on me, to, and she would use the same belt to just sort of finish off each dress. And I used to call it the magic belt, because it made every dress look 10 times better. Anyway, so this video is about those special things. First off, sticking with belts, I am going to show you a couple of them because I've got quite a few. Um, they don't have to be brand new designer belts. Obviously, the Gucci is probably the most popular belt that we all know. I own it as well. I haven't worn it a lot, but it's something that I do believe it does have a sort of making something go from being, oh, that's cool, to like, looking a bit more chic, like really finishing that look. Um, I've also worn it like over coats. I like to do like over long cardigans just to replace a typical belt and wear something that's a bit more uh, luxury. So that's one of the ways I like to wear it. But here is another belt that I got. This is a gift from my uh, friend Paula in London. Hello. Paula, if you're watching this video, it is this gold bell. It is vintage. She knows my style so well. It is just fantastic. I love the head of it because it looks like, like a Medusa's head a little bit, doesn't it? That. It's so pretty. I mean, obviously, I'm wearing the wrong dress. This is a Reformation dress. It's a short dress, actually. Look, right there. It is 90 degrees today, by the way. That, because it's gold, I like the look of the gold with the green you'll see on the screen. But this, to me, is one of those belts that... It's that same thing, right? It just has that, sim it's very simple, instead of just wearing it like that, which can look a bit like, <laughs> I'm not gonna say what it looks like. I like the idea of just wearing it like that, just to one side, right? God, I can't even like it over, wait, do I, do I like it over the dress though? Oh, what is wrong with me? No, but you see what I'm saying though? It just, it elevates, it, it, it gives that sort of, um, it finishes it. The belt that does that for me is this one. It is a fantastic, again, it's a vintage belt. It is belt ultra wide. It's kind of like, well, I call it like my wrestling belt. It's suede with these silver, dark silver um, hardware on it. It's, again, I'm not wearing the right dress at all, but it's 90 degrees. So anything that's really sort of flowy, I think this would look so good with that, just teamed together. Oh God, I remember when I got this, it was in, um, that flea market upstate, it's the, it's the, actually it's America's largest outdoor flea market. Brimfield, that's it. I actually saw it on the mannequin and I took it off. I took it off the display and I said, can I have this? And she sold it to me right then and, the, right then and there. Because I knew how I would be styling a belt like this. But again, God, this looks like crap over this dress. But over the right clothes, you know, when you're wearing something that's long, I think this, this, looks like a million dollars and I will never get rid of this belt. Wide belts always comes in and out of fashion, in my opinion. It's one of those things that just, it trends and then it goes out, then it comes in. And it, you know, it's just one of those things, isn't it? So I think this fall, I'll definitely be rocking it as well, especially when you get like into like tweeds and um, heavy materials and just sort of wooler dresses, maybe that's got like the flow to them. Just anything like that. Maybe like team it over certain blazers, like, Menzy blazers have like a looseness to them, to them and you can just like crisscross the lapels, the collar. Absolutely, oh, it looks so good. Another thing that has, to me, has a good transformative power, and it does to me on your clothes, is carrying that statement bag or that bag that's just a little bit unusual, right? Not just your average bag, something that's just, 
It may be a different shape, maybe the material is a little bit unusual, unexpected about it. It could be anything really that's something that's just very like, makes someone do a double take and you know, it's something that someone will go, oh that looks so cool, you know, because it's just, it finishes it. And for me, I've got a few that come to mind in my wardrobe. Obviously this bag needs no introductions, but this shrimps bag for me is definitely one of those. It's just something that as soon as I put it on, it just, it just adds a little bit of something to anything I'm wearing. So I know that for me, this bag is just one of those things that it's just, I feel like it's like the magic bag. It's white, so it goes with everything. You know how I think about whites, it's a neutral to me. Um, and because I see it as a no color, and just these pearls all over it is such a talking point. I love that it completes anything I wear. It's the one thing that just takes anything from just this to, you know, this. All you did was just add an unusual type of bag. Here's another one that I've got, it's a good example of that. The bag that does that for me every time is this Izzy Miyake bag, the outside of the shrimps. This is the complete opposite in terms of style, but the power that it has is identical. It's just that, oh, I'll tell you. There isn't a time that goes by that somebody doesn't say something to me about this, this bag. It comes in a thousand colors, it really does, but the metallic silver one is the one that always stole my heart. It's not really seen too much as well, which I love, and it's just, it, when the sun hits this bag, let me tell you, it is just like, you look like a flipping human disco ball walking down the street with this bag, and that's the kind of effect it has. Absolutely transforms anything, anything, I especially love to wear it, believe it or not, in the dead of winter. This has the most incredible wow effect when you wear it with a normal like plain black or navy coat, really just simple single breasted, solid coloured, sneakers on maybe, and then you put this on and then it just instantly ups the wow factor of your outfit. One of those bags that really amps up your outfit without you having to put much effort into it at all. For me, there's other bags that can do it as well, but they do on a much more subtle level and it's just initially, because what I said earlier, it's because of the material. One is this one that I have. It's a similar sort of beaded bag, except that it is in shells in terms of being a beaded bag. It has that same transformative effect when I team it with something extremely, extremely pared down. Like, I went out to, uh, we went to a friend's party, Michael and I, the other day, or the other week rather, and I had on a pair of like denim shorts, I'll see if I can insert footage, and just a loose bell-sleeved blouse, and I put this on, and it just, it just completed it. Actually, I kind of like the look, gosh, oh, kind of like the look of actually wearing with this dress, this Reformation dress, right? Because it's just sort of, it's casual and it's kind of feminine, so it kind of goes with the dress. It's not too feminine like the shrimps bag, but it's that nice contrast and it really just kind of, it adds to the dress. These are the magic items in my wardrobe that have that kind of effect and power. Another one is obviously sunglasses. I mean, you get the right sunglasses and you could just be wearing a flipping potato sack. You put the right glasses on and it just finishes off anything you're wearing. It's just one of those things that you could have like a really bad makeup day and it finishes off your outfit. You could just be having a bad day and no one knows that you've been crying and you put on the glasses and it finishes off the outfit. You get an instant retro look without changing anything you're wearing. You just instantly get that look. It's one of those things, I mean, yeah, I know you've seen a couple of these glasses already before, but they work for the purposes in my wardrobe of this video, which is talking about what they will do to an outfit, how they will twist it and make it look slightly uh, different to how it just looks without. It's as simple as that. You want a retro vibe, go for the cat eyes, or you want like a more sort of sleek look, you go for like the extreme cat eye, you want something that's retro. You already know what I'm gonna say about the tinted glasses. Those will give that look to you, whether it's a red tint, a yellow tint, a blue tint, a rose pink tint. Just make it so it's semi-transparent so you still see your eyes a little bit but you're seeing it through those rose colored glasses as, as they say, because it gives that throwback vibe. And you take those off and that look isn't quite the same. You put it on and instantly it's transformed and it's just completed the entire outfit. That is the power or the effect of really, really well done statement or statement accessories and statement pieces in general. 
hair accessories, another one which I know I touched on a little bit on that lookbook in the other video, but I never really talked to you about it. I have just started to sort of get into them a bit more and these ones, these hair combs that I've got, I love them so much. I've also got a couple of others, they're actual flowers. One is a white flower, one is a red flower. I know you've seen the red flower in a vlog video of mine on my channel. They instantly, again, add, they finish off, they just, I've got to turn this bloody phone off. It's so simple, look at these, all right? So these ones I got from a hair shop, actually no, an accessory shop for hair, Brand Central Market uh, train station. That's for those of you who live in New York, so you'll know where I got these from. Uh, they think they came in different colors. I got them in these like matte gold, but they, again, it's just something that just adds a little something to the hair. Because you know I normally am like this most of the time, so when you just add something like that, it's, it just, you know, do you understand the point I'm trying to make in this video? It just finishes off. It's a magic piece, in my opinion. Just like the Izzy Miyake bags, the shrimps, the glasses, the belts I showed you earlier, they complete the look. And I think that if every one of us has at least two or three of those things in our wardrobe, then you're kind of golden, I think, because you're definitely doing your wardrobe a favor and your style a favor as well, because you're kind of like amping it up a little bit. My hair is really thick now, because it's really like growing out quite a lot. It's growing out really nicely. And I wanted to come up with something that I could do that would just be a little bit of a twist, so I'm not just doing the same old, same thing all the time. In fact, I might actually keep it on for the rest of this video. Another one along the same lines, it's all about the accessories actually this video, I just realized that, is going to be earrings. I mean, I've already told you about the power of you know, a good earring, but it just, I mean, I don't like it with the hair slide. I wouldn't, I would never do the two together. I would go like that. This together, it instantly change, it just instantly ups the, the look. I would probably take off all of these and I would just go with the, earring so the focus is on that just the effect of a really killer statement piece um i love the idea of as i told you i'll tell you again white to me is a neutral it just goes with practically anything even like just white on white if i had a little white outfit i just wanted to wear white and white and put this this would work or black this with black oh god like just to wear but actually you remember the video when i went to new orleans that one that uh, what was that dress by the Marquesa gown that I wore? I wanted that monochromatic black and white look and I wore these simple white earrings with them and to me that really, that completed it. It completed the dress. I was getting dressed in the hotel room, put the dress on, it looked fine, but it felt a little bit funeral-like because it's so much black all over. And then as soon as I put these on, it instantly lifted and made the dress look well. Now, we cannot do a video like this talking about the magic in our wardrobe and what accessories transform or finish your look without, without talking about shoes. Uh, for me, there's a few pairs that I own that do that, but I just want to narrow it down to just a couple that are the complete opposites of each other in terms of the time of the year that you probably see me wearing them, but the effect is the same. One is these, are these ankle boots. They are Chelsea metallic gold pointed boots that I have. These are so freaking rock and roll. I love these boots. I got these from Trash and Vaudeville. Shout out to Jimmy. These are classic, what I call beetle boots. These are the kind of boots that I think that Saint Laurent is known for doing for men. And if I'm correct, these are actually men's boots, but you know, if you're new to my channel, thank you for watching. OG subscribers, you have seen my videos, you know about my love for men's clothes and style in general, and these boots are just typical of that. But every time I wear these gold metallic boots, they amp up the most basic of jeans and t-shirts. So more like individual. The more beat up they look, to me the better. It's like a good leather jacket. That to me is just not, it's gonna stand the test of time. So this to me is a magic shoe in my particular wardrobe because of the effect that it has on my outfits. Any outfit I wear, it just instantly makes it look cool, badass, <sighs> it just works. You know what I'm trying to say. Another one are these shoes. Now these are new, nobody has seen these shoes. This is like a debut time for all of you. Um, these are a pair of shoes that I got recently. They are a gingham mule, but I love the look of these clashed with anything right and it's just that that makes these look so good like don't try and match it 
The point is to clash it, it's like that finisher. That's what I call shoes like this. They, they really do complete the outfit in a much more of a kind of like a wow way. Beautiful for the summer. These are from J. Crew. I love the simple block heel and it's got like a light trim around here, a little dark trim around here if you can see that. But these are just great. These are so, so good. I, mean, I love these. And again, for the summer, these are what I call a finisher. You put these on with anything that you're wearing and you're, you're, everybody's eyes go straight down to the shoe when you styled it correctly. Oh, oh, ah! so good. I need to stop doing these squeals that the sound are so loud. I swear there's dogs from like miles away. They're like going, hmm? oh, did I just hear something? Yeah, you heard me. But fedoras in the fall and winter, they to me are just golden. They really, truly, you can just look like, you know what I'm talking about, because how of a fedora just to change your outfit was just, at least my outfit was, it was just every time without fail. But it can still, it still happens in the summer as well. You can wear a massive brimmed straw hat and the effect that has, it truly does complete what you're wearing. When you've got that perfect straw hat, whether it's a floppy brim, a straight sombrero type of brim, oh my God, I just think it just looks so, so cool and it just, it really does just add that little finishing kind of like chic vibe plus it's functional at the same time but like i said it just it completes it all straw fedora hat instantly you finish your little swimsuit and then you put a pair of loose wide linen pants over that swimsuit and then you bung on a straw hat it completes the look something like that oh god it looks so good um i personally have one straw hat that you've seen me pick up from new orleans love that hat it completed the outfit I had on when I walked into the store. I had a dress on originally, but as soon as I put on the hat that I was trying on, it was Mayer's, it completed, it finished the look. So oh, I just love what it does. Oh, it's just gonna just, you'll see what I mean. It will just stand the test of time. All right, so that is it. I just want to do a really quick video on some of the things that to me, I call these the magic items in your closet. These are the things that they can be a statement, but maybe they're not. Maybe they're more subtle. But if you pair them correctly, they have that effect. Like the white Zara earrings that I teamed with the black Marquesa a long gown. It's not about the spend power. You know, it doesn't, it's not really about that. It's really just about the effect that certain things, items that you have in your wardrobe, that when you pair them with your clothes, they just, finish it. Everything is completed. It looks chicer. It looks sexier. It looks edgier. You insert the description that applies, but it has that effect. But to me, these are the kind of things that just like finish your wardrobe. It's like having a mini personal stylist, but condensed in the form of an item in your closet. They help you. These are your helpers, your little helpers. So that is it. Those are just some things that I think are really like power items. It's like the glue that really like add that final Oh, stamp on your outfit. Tell me in the comments below what those items are for you. Maybe you have one. There's that one killer piece, right? It could be a shoe, it could be a bag, maybe it's a belt, there's a sunglass, something for your hair, it could be an amazing hat. It's that one thing that you have, right? That just looks so good when you wear it. Tell me what it is, I'd love to know. Anyway, that is my lot, as I always say. It is as hot as, oh balls outside sorry i just had to say it really is anyway i will see you guys have a good weekend and i will see you guys on tuesday bye